Metal costs are definitely the majority of costs in a penny, and the penny has been made primarily over the last century of copper, uh, zinc, and tin. And uh, the big cost there is copper, because copper is used for lots of different types of manufacturing. It's also used for uh, wiring that you know, when you build buildings and etc. cetera. So uh, if you take a look at the composition of a penny over that period of time, at the very beginning in 1793, when we made our first pennies, they were all copper. At the beginning of last century, like around 1900, they were 95% copper and 5%, a little bit of tin, a little bit of zinc. Uh, that continued until uh, 1962 when they took out uh, the tin. And then in 1982, there was a change where it was majority copper and a little bit zinc, and they switched it around. So that it was majority zinc with a copper coating. The contemporary penny is 97.5% zinc and only 2.5% copper, the more expensive of the metals by far. As an additional cost-saving measure, the United States Mint buys these prefabricated copper-plated blanks from Jardin Zinc, a manufacturer in Tennessee, the epicenter of U.S. zinc mining. Not so coincidentally, Jardin Zinc is one of the primary underwriters of the organization Americans for Common Sense, one of the largest pro-penny lobbies. I actually was an advocate for the elimination of the penny back 20 years ago when I was director. Um, even then, the cost of producing the penny was above the face value. In other words, there was negative seniorage. Simply put, Seniorage is the difference between the face value of currency and the cost to produce it. For example, it only costs 5.6 cents to make a $1 bill, meaning there is positive seniorage of 94.4 cents. In this case, the treasury is making money. Making money! Cha-ching! But when it costs more to make a coin than the face value of the coin itself, as is the case with both the penny and the nickel, that's what we call Negative seniorage. I was Mint Director from 2006 to 2011, and 2011 was the peak of costs uh, for the penny. And so it cost us roughly 2.4 cents uh, to make a penny back then. When I left the Mint, uh, I proposed legislation to try to uh, give Mint more flexibility on experimenting and making the penny cheaper. What Congress came back with is they authorized us to do studies. Since I left the Mint, those studies have been completed and the short answer to your question is uh, it cannot be made cheaper. Uh, the cheapest metal that you can make a penny out of is steel and steel would still cost more than a penny to make. So if former directors who were in charge of the Mint are concerned about the cost of the penny, what stopped the Mint from making any real change? Well, every coin uh, produced by the United States Mint is authorized by an act of Congress. That's very unusual in the Western world. Uh, usually central banks or the finance uh, ministry determines what coins are produced. That's not the case in the United States. It's all in the hands of Congress. 